everyone, I'm Sue and welcome back for another episode of Does This Notion Really Work? And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the Clover Desk Needle Threader. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. That way you don't miss another video. I remember the very first time I saw this. We got like a whole little box of them in um, when I was working at the quilt shop. And I was asked to, you know, like, hey, go ahead and learn how to use this. But truthfully, I was a skeptic. I thought, why? Why would anybody need a device to help you thread a needle? Uh, it, just, it just didn't make any sense to me. Of course, I was, you know, in my early 20s, so <laughs> it wasn't as big of a need. But then I was asked to demonstrate it in the next sewing class I was teaching, and I did. I had not used it until I actually demonstrated it. And truthfully, like, the, the look on my face was like genuine surprise. I was like, oh my God, this thing actually does work. <laughs> so it was really fun and I, I remember all the ladies had a really good time learning how to use this little guy and I wanted to bring that same excitement to you. When Clover first came out with it, it was kind of a brownish reddish color and it had a lot more markings. Over the years, they have greatly enhanced the colors, making them fun and happy like pink and green and purple. And now the stickers are a lot more clear. One, two, three. The base measures approximately 3 inches by 1 inch wide and it stands about 2.5 inches tall. It's advertised to work with a variety of different sewing and quilting needles, from fine to thick, but it does suggest the oval eye needles are the best. And you also want to make sure that the thread is applicable to the size of the needle. I like to use the Aurifil 50 weight thread and it works perfect with my oval eye needle. Let's go ahead and see how the Clover Desk Threader really does work. The first thing you're going to do is insert the eye of the needle into the number one hole. And lay the thread across that center area and hold it gently on each side. Press the number two lever once and pull up the needle. It will create a little loop, which is exactly what you want. Now go ahead and pull that loop through the eye of the needle until the short end of the thread has gone to the other side. Now use the built-in blade, which is the number three sticker, to cut the threads as you need. And then go ahead and tie a knot. I like to tie a double knot. There goes one and two. And there you go. You're ready to stitch. So there's a couple of things I think is worth mentioning that we haven't already covered in the packaging. So I'm just going to point it out that it does say that if the thread is pushed too hard into the needle threader, you could damage the, the actual threader itself. So just really gently remove that thread and that way you don't damage it. And the other thing that it mentioned is that when you're storing it, you don't want to put the needle inside the number one hole. What you want to do is remove all your needles, remove all your thread, and you're just going to store it in a nice, safe, compact place. Now, it didn't say whether it should be stored standing upright or flat or, I mean, it really didn't say, but I've always kept mine like upright in my drawer that's like right next to my sewing machine. And that way I know where it's at. And also I know that the little like hinge right here isn't going to get bent or destroyed. So where can you get the Clover Desk Needle Threader? Well, check with your local quilt shop and some of the big box stores might have them as well. And then if you can't find it, then go ahead and look in the description. We have some links for here online. Now, how much does this cost? Well, I've seen them in a lot of different price ranges, anywhere between about $12 and $20. I believe the suggested retail is around $16. So when you're buying it online, you're probably paying for shipping. So if you can buy it from a local source, then you'll save on the shipping. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss another video by me. And if you like behind the scenes kind of stuff, then follow me over at Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. We have a lot of fun there. We do a lot of live video chats and, and answer a lot of questions right on the spot. So be sure to follow me there. And if you have any suggestions of notions that you would like to see me demonstrate, be sure to leave those in the comments below and I'll take a look at them. 
Well, until next time, my friends, I sure hope you have a creative day. Bye-bye. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.